morning, who may have pleasant day to each and everyone. So this morning we'll be having the fishbowl technique. And we are the facilitator for this activity. I am Bay Pamina Silongan. I am Marley Sampa. I am Murphy Natsuki. And we are again the facilitator for this activity. But before we start, you know, this activity, um, Mr. Dimalens, can you please be the prayer for, for, for us? Okay. Let us pray. Almighty God, creator of the universe, ruler of all mankind, we pray to thee to bless us with good sound, mind, and body. Grant us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of all the force through the force for study. Help, help us to be more persevering, industrious, so that we can attain a better for search future. Better for a better future. Uh, in thy name, amen. Allahumma Amin. Shukran for that prayer, Mr. Dimalan. So this activity, the fishbowl technique, you are divided into two circles, like the inner circle and the outer circle. So in the inner circle, you are responsible for the discussions. For the direction of if you are divided into two circles, the inner and the outer circles, the inner circles, you are responsible for the discussions, okay? So we will throw a question, then um, you will go in to answer that. Okay, get it? Yes. yes. And the outer circles, you are you serve as a listener, so uh, be attentive and take note of the important key terms and other things that they, they will go in to discuss here. Because later on, you are the one who will go in to discuss what they have discussed here. Okay? Yes. So, Let's get started. So the first question that we're going to give to you is, uh, of course, um, first uh, let's have the, the background of uh, what is the curriculum. So anyone? Yes, Miss Muhammad. The third curriculum is refers to the lesson and academic content. Thank you so much for that idea. Okay, guys, so you don't have to, to raise, no? And for those who will support that idea, then continue, okay? So, raise your hand if you want to. Can I add? Yes. Um, curriculum may to say plan and organize learning experiences, and it includes um, instructional materials and the courses that will be taken during that um, the learning and based on my research, it is a collaborative process which involves the teachers, administrators, and um, subject matter experts which it is regularly evaluated and updated to ensure that it remains effective and relevant. So in addition to that, um, curriculum guides um, all educators or the teachers to achieve a comprehensive teaching and learning experiences. So that's it. Thank you so much for that idea. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We'll proceed to the next question. What is the importance of the curriculum in the institution? Yes, Ms. Gillian, you are recognized. Um, the importance of curriculum is that it connects the teachers and students that um, to have an effective and good learning and also it develops the, the student's personality when it comes to education. That's it. Thank you so much, Ms. Gillian. Well, that's a good idea, no? And as, as a learner, I know that it is somehow and it is really important for me. And I think in behalf of you guys, because you are also a learner. And I think the importance of having a curriculum is this standardized um, standardized learning style of us. And all, all, of course, to our instructors, it is really important for them to have a guide or to have guidelines in terms of on how they are breaking down and on how they are going to teach and on how they are going to give enough learnings to those learners. So I think that's really important for us no? because we 
are having the standard in terms of learning. That's it. Thank you so much, Ms. Fernandez, for that very informative answer. So I hope that in the outer circles, we're taking down notes, those important features. Okay, so let's now proceed to the next question. So the next question would be, what is the role of the curriculum in the teaching and learning process? Uh, I would like to discuss the role of uh, your surname first. I am Princess Mahindra Kaur, so I would like to discuss the role of curriculum in teaching and learning process. So as for me, a strong curriculum offers a measurable plan and framework for delivering a well-planned and good quality education to teachers and students. And also, in addition for that, is also for teachers and students to follow, to follow on the road to academic success. Thank you so much, Miss Moro. Yes, of course. In addition to what Miss Kikar. Yes. In addition to what Miss Moro has stated, no? um, I would like to say that for us, for me, the role of curriculum in, in the institution is that it helps the institution to be aligned with the course, study, or program. What I'm trying to say is that it serves as a guide to, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it serves as a guide as to what, why, or how they will approach that um, certain sub, uh, that certain subject area. And I would, I would also like to emphasize that um, it does not only help the students, but the, but the teachers as well in achieving um, quality education throughout the teaching and learning. Thank you so much, Ms. Kika. Yes, quality education. So the next question, let's hear Ms. Akbar to read the next question, okay? So. <clears throat> okay, I will read the next question. Um, what is the aim of the curriculum? What do you think is the aim of this? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's start from here. I would like to share my idea about the aim of curriculum. It is to bring a holistic development of a student's personalities, like their uh, physical, um, students' intellectual, emotional, and social, and also their spirit, uh, spiritual dimension. With that, uh, it will help students. To learn. Thank you so much, Ms. Abdul Karim. So, Ms. Um, Devina Dera. So, since um, we all know that curriculum is the heart of the school, right? So, um, by that, I think the one of the aim of the curriculum is, aside from to give the quality education, was also, just like what she has mentioned, the overall development of the child or the student. So, not just on their development, but also to develop their learning experience, as well as the learning environment also, and for um, the development of the school's performance. So all in all, um, what it aims is to make the curriculum goals and objectives effective and successful. That's all. Thank you so much, Ms. Devinadera. So another idea. And for the next question, Ms. So for the next question, um, what are the different uh, elements of the curriculum? Yes, Ms. Morales. So I think um, I'm yeah I'm Morales. Um, I think what is what are the, the different elements of curriculum is the four. I I have four. Um, the first one is the curriculum objectives, second is the content or subject matter, and the third one is the learning experience, and the fourth one is the um, curriculum evaluation. So the first one is the, is the curriculum objectives. Of course, from the word itself, diba? objectives, which means that, that is um, what is expected to be done in the curriculum or what are the, what are the, um, what are the learners will be expected to be learned, of course. And next one is the um, content, of course, it, um, in here, it is consists with the topics or the information that we provide to the learners. And the third one is the, is the, 
learning experiences. So um, it refers to the interaction between the learner and the and the in the environment that 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 he or she can react to. And the last one is of course the curriculum evaluation from the word itself. Evaluation meaning we will need to analyze if the curriculum is really effective enough, diba? Right? If ever there is, if it is not, curriculum is not effective, then we can be um, change it into something na, that will that will um, be effective, the one. Yeah, yeah, in that. That's all. Thank you so much, Ms. Morales. For the next question, or any other ideas? Other ideas? Okay, let's proceed to the next question. Why is there a need to understand the different elements of the curriculum? Yes, Ms. Fernandez again. Yes, I really got interested on how Ms. Morales is really breaking down those definitions of the four elements. But I just would like to add that um, from the word themselves, no, we are going to have the importance and the relevance of each element in the curriculum. Well, most importantly, we need to identify on how we are going to target those weaknesses and strengths of each learner so that they could be or they are going to expect what are the learner uh, what are the learnings they are going to learn and of course the learning experiences of them we we should we should get determined or we should have we should need to consider what are the experiences or i think the learning style that we are going to have if they are going to to learn something from the subject matter that is the content of the curriculum those are the disciplines that we are going to learn and all, of course the evaluation because there is a need or there are certain relevance of it because we need to assess we need to evaluate what are those who are going to uh, what are those things that we need to target that we need to identify and what we need to to, to sort out whether it is a negative or a positive one. I, I think that will be all. Thank you so much, Ms. Fernanda. Another idea for the number six question. Okay, let's now proceed to the next question. Hello, Katia. Okay, for the next question. There are always changes in the curriculum. Yes, there are changes in the curriculum. No, um, I like all action. Okay, um, the changes not in the curriculum only reflect that they are really uh, assessing the already implemented curriculum. So uh, firstly, that is through the um, test results conducted. So uh, what worked and did not work in the curriculum implemented. If uh, there are seen shortcomings or weaknesses uh, in that uh, curriculum, then it is only right that they modify it. And uh, as, as we, the future educator, right? Um, it is uh, only, uh, it is important to know that um, we uh, we uh, we see or uh, we view these changes of the curriculum as a positive response to the uh, imperfections of it. So that's all. Thank you so much, Mr. Alibuga. And anyway, here's the idea. Okay, um, it's entirely life. So in addition to why the curriculum needs to change is because the world is constant, constantly changing and the students must be able to adapt the changes for development. So particularly in the um, relation to the quality of teaching and learning processes and that particular changes must meet or fit in with the objectives or goals of education. Thank you so much, Ms. Kaira. And another one is Sophia Abdullah. Yes, in addition to what they have said, yeah, I agree with their opinions, their stance. So, a curriculum must keep up with the changing world. Our cur curriculum must be relevant and timely, though we, of course, um, consider the learnings or the knowledge from the past or previous um, 
previous uh, tasks or previous works, our curriculum must reflect on the students or the students must put themselves on the activities that we're going to conduct. So it must be timely and relevant. That's all. Thank you. Timely and relevant. Thank you so much, Ms. Sophia Goba. Another idea. Let's now proceed to the next question. Yes, Ms. Akuman. Okay, the next question is like this. As a future teacher, what would be your response to curriculum implementation as part of the curriculum change? Again, no, as a future teacher, what would be your response to curriculum implementation as a part of the curriculum change? So what do you think? Anyone? when we are going to, to have this kind of desire in yourself na you are going to teach um, in, in this time, I, I mean one of these days. And I think my perception in terms of on how we are going to, um, on how I'm, I'm going to respond to the curriculum implementation when there's a curriculum change, I think that's really good and really, really relevant for us because you know, there are really having we are really having the time management um, in terms of on how we are going to to make one discipline, one subject matter relevant for this day. Because as the time goes by, we have limited or we have unlimited learnings that we are going to do. And in this modern times, I think that if we are going to be modern today, then we are going to be modern one of these days. So being 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 responsible in terms of on how you are going to be on ha hands on to the curriculum implementation with changes will be relevant for us, not just for the not just for the teachers, but I think for the the future learners that we are going to teach because that is really the the important thing here to teach relevant to teach with sense that i think that's it thank you so much mr Nantes. the last word she offered is to teach with impact so thank you so much Obviously, another idea if you are if you are going to support what she said miss sophia okay yes so I believe I agree with her answer. <clears throat> As we all know, curriculums are all made with one goal, and that is to help the students uh, to learn and to improve. So in that way, we must uh, make a solid plan, and that is the curriculum that will um, surely or that will ensure a positive outcome for the students. So in that way, I am very elated that the, that our government, that the DEF had the uh, chat are really exerting effort in doing the curriculum in a very timely and relevant way. Uh, so, the students can learn not only the things that had happened in the past, but also the things that might happen in the future. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Another idea. Now, then Okay, the next question is very relatable to all of us, since we are all a learner. What do you think, and why do you think a learner is considered to be the center of the curriculum? Alright, so what do you think? Geronda speaking. Yeah, let's say it's Geronda. Mr. Uh, Mr. Geronda, rather. Thank you. Why Last. 
So the idea, uh, the idea of the learner is a center of the curriculum is that because it, it's a belief that because education needs to uh, to uh, the student and education should be focused on the needs of individual learners. So by this by this approach, uh, they recognize the different learning style and different interests and ability of individual learners. So by placing by placing this kind of curriculum, uh, educators can design or can find a perfect learning style and approach. And and because of that, they can they can. He can teach the learners in the, in the very way which is appropriate and it can help them up, uh, improve. And they can solve. Thank you so much, Ms. Heronda. So, yes, Ms. Piano, do you have any? Okay, just an additional note. So, I totally agree with Mr. Heronda. And also, um, even though our program now is already learner centered, you know, and um, I agree that it should be uh, learner-centered because our focus is mainly on our students, how they learn and the approaches that are appropriate to them and with the goals of improving not just as teachers but also for their future to prepare them in a successful life. Thank you so much, Ms. Quijano. Okay. May I add something? Okay, yes, Miss Julia. Yeah. 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 Student, I students is the center of curriculum. I think because um, think, uh, I think because um, the curriculum is is important to the students because um, the main objective of the teaching is to teach learners to acquire skills and knowledge. So students may come first to uh, no, to to educate. That's to educate. Yes, another idea. Do you have any? There's none. There's none. So let's now proceed to the next question. Okay, so the next question would be, many are confused about the difference between the syllabus and the curriculum. How do you differentiate this two? This and So to start with, syllabus and curriculum are related terms in education, okay? But um, the two are refers to different things because the main difference between syllabus and curriculum is that when we say syllabus, it is a document that outlines the content of a specific course. While when we say um, curriculum, it is a broader term that refers to the overall content and goals of a specific program of study. That's all. Thank you so much for that idea, Miss Andal. So I believe by conducting a evaluation and that is um, either a test, uh, an answer sheet that, is, that the teacher must provide to the students. In that way, I mean, the very reason why we first conduct a diagnostic uh, exam or I mean the pre-assessment test, the teacher conduct a pre-assessment test. That is to measure or to gain the insights or the prior knowledge of the students. In that way, after the discussion, after following what is written in the curriculum, as uh, a teacher uh, is going to conduct another um, test, and that is the post-assessment. So, if the student did well in the post-assessment, that only means that the curriculum succeed in um, 
um, in following or in achieving the goal it has um, set prior to the discussion. Yeah. The yes. Thank you so much, Ms. Sophia. And about that post assessment, um, the teacher will also evaluate the learners if where they excel, right? Yeah. So yes. Thank you so much, Ms. Sophia. And another idea. Yeah, it's easy. I'm going to go to the house. Tama, tama. Hmm. Ikat lang natin. Ano, Morales? I think we're done with the inner circle, no? As the discussers for today's activity. Let's give them a round of applause. Action. So, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So now, um, uh, we're going to continue our activity, which is the fish bowl technique. And uh, before we start, uh, let's start it with an opening prayer to believe by uh, Mr. Sharif for the Muslim prayer and Mr. I miss Katwigilian for the Christian prayer. Okay. I'm just a friend. Alhamdulillah. The, the importance of the curriculum. The importance of the curriculum is the, to connect the teacher and the student to have a good connection for learning process and also to standardize standardize the lesson. So for me, the importance of the curriculum to the students, to, to students and the teacher is to to 
Take two. <laughs> so for me, the importance of curriculum is to uh, make a guideline to the teacher or serve as a uh, as a reference to teacher to teach the right lesson to the student in a specific program or courses. That's it. So, well, thank you so much, Miss Mister Sharif. Another one would like to miss. Um, yes, so in our <laughs> in addition, the curriculum is the important element of education. Aims of education are reflected in the curriculum. So in other words, the curriculum is determined by the aims of um, life and society. <laughs> Uh, in our previous meeting, I've learned that curriculum is refers to the lesson and academic content. Yes, because curriculum is all the aspects in education. And also, it is a guide to all the educators for learning and teaching methods to achieve uh, comprehensive teaching and learning practices. That's all. Thank you so much, Mr. Um, in the simplest term, curriculum. Can you see now? Okay. Action. Uh -huh. That's the uh, I am the non Baitrofa, so additional, in the simplest term, curriculum is, is a description of what, why, and how. How will students learn in a systematic and intentional way? So, that's it. Thank you so much, Ms. Manola. Another one? Yes, Miss Abelia. So, good morning, everyone. Um, I have learned that the aim of the curriculum is to provide a structured and coherent plan for, of learning experiences that helps and guides the students or the learners towards achieving a specific educational goals or object, <coughs> objectives. So, um, a well-designed curriculum ensures that the learners or the students acquire the knowledge, skills, or attitudes that are necessary for their academic, personal, and professional development. So that's it. Good morning, everyone. I am Kamsa Sahaja. So I would like to share my insight about the uh, question why is it that there are always changes in the curriculum? So as far as I could remember, Ms. Luga has mentioned about the weaknesses. And also the changes in the curriculum occur uh, due to the gaps. However, also according to her, uh, uh, we must uh, take those changes as a uh, positive response uh, in for the betterment of the uh, curri curriculum itself uh, uh, for the students since they are the uh, main uh, main focus of the uh, teaching and the learning process uh, within the curriculum. Yes. Thank you so much, Ms. Kamsa Sahara. Now, okay, uh, Ms. Kamsa Sahara. Uh, good morning, everyone. No, I am Kamsa Sahara. Uh, okay. uh, again, good morning everyone. I am Kamsa Sara and uh, I would like to share my insight about uh, the role of uh, curriculum. Now, based on what I have understood during the discussion last meeting uh, about the role of curriculum, I mean, my uh, classmates simply emphasize that uh, curriculum serves as the guide for those, uh, I mean, for all educators now regarding what is uh, necessary for teaching and learning process. No? Uh, I remember Ms. Ikai Renina May um, mentioned about what, how, and should. No? And I, I agree with her no? because curriculum covers uh, what should be taught to students, why uh, something should be taught to students, and how it should be taught to them. That's all. Wow. Oh. 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 Hi, Hi. 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 So, I'd like to share you uh, about what I've understood also from our from previous meeting. So, I, I have here the uh, some of uh, the ideas of uh, my classmate, my classmate 
uh, said um, before, or last meeting. So, first is yung what is the curriculum itself. So, uh, they said uh, that uh, curriculum is a lesson and academic content. Uh, it is a totally col uh, collaborative process involved teachers. And it is a guide uh, for educators to achieve a uh, to achieve something in their teaching ganon. and curriculum also is the plan uh, it is a organized uh, plan uh, for every ano, ganon, uh, process ng learning and also I would like to add also I have here also uh, noted uh, what they said on the role of uh, the curriculum uh, uh, they said na it offers a measurable plan and also it helps the teachers uh, to be aligned sabi nga nila yung my guidelines uh, to achieve a quality education throughout the learning process so that's all What I have learned according to uh, Mr. Yoranda, um, he, he said that education should be focused on learners. So, which is true because learning le students have their own unique learning style, and which learning style ha which learning style are tend tendencies toward learning in a certain certain way, whether it's it's visual, auditory, or uh, verbal verbal learning. Students need to learn different things, and when the teacher collects all data to see what they to see what what they prefer what they prefer to learn or how they enjoy to learning about, so it can help us to tailor our curriculum accordingly. That's all. Thank you, Mrs. Aguirre. Now, Mrs. Rafaela. Assalamu alaikum and good morning, everyone. I am Rafaela. Stuff. And today I will share about the about my take notes about the last discussion. So in the last discussion, I learned the importance of curriculum in the institution. For instance, curriculum is important in the institution because it connects the teachers and students to have an effective teaching and learning. So in addition to that, curriculum is considered as the heart of any learning institution because which means that schools or universities cannot exist without a curriculum. And also, curriculum in the institution is very important because it helps students to understand the content that they have learned, and also it helps them to learn how to apply what they have learned. Uh, the curriculum not only teaches them but about the subject, but also encourages their creativity and intelligence. Now, Ms. Makadatu. Okay, good morning everyone. So, um, based on what I have uh, chat down during the discussion of the inner circle last meeting, um, curriculum refers to the lesson and the academic content. So, in addition to that, curriculum is where teachers or instructors can see what, what would be taught in a given courses or subjects. That's all. Uh, sure. Let's hear from Ms. Agravante. So, Based on what I understood during the last discussion, last meeting, curriculum is the heart of the whole educational system. So the syllabus, lesson plan, the teachers and administrators are depending on the curriculum to be aligned on what the student, students needs to needs in terms of education. So the syllabus and curriculum is weird, very different as the syllabus focuses on the on the certain topic or the certain subject and concepts that will be covered that will be covered in curriculum it is a term that is a combination of the syllabus course design classes timeable etc so it helps on planning how the certain subject or course will be taught so Thank you so much, Ms. Agravanti. A round of applause. Now, let's hear from Ms. Mastura. So, based on what I have taken down notes on the last discussion was 
uh, in addition of what they, all, they already said is the role of curriculum in teaching and learning process. So for teachers and students on the road of uh, the role of curriculum in the teacher, teaching and learning process is for teachers and students on the road of education. And it is also serves as a guide to what, why and how. Another thing is it is a measurable plan and framework for delivering a, a well planned quality of education. So that's all. Thank you, Ms. Mastura. Now let's hear from Ms. Nagyawan Rifa. So I just want to share my insight about what is the aim of the curriculum. For me, all curriculums share one goal, just what like uh, Ms. Abdul Karim shared last meeting, it is to help students, to help students do creative and original work. And of course, curriculums in this institution aims to provide high quality teaching experiences which excite and motivate um, the children in this classroom and beyond. That's it. Now let's proceed to Ms. Abdullah Jihada. So good morning everyone. Uh, I just want to share what I learned from the Inner Circle last evening. Um, I learned that there is always a change in the curriculum base because uh, the world is constantly changing as well. It means that there are new things, ideas, concepts, etc. that emerge. Therefore, there is a necessity to change, modify, or update the outdated curriculum to keep up to the world change and make the knowledge, skills, and com competencies of the students updated and relevant to the current era, which is the 21st century era. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Kiada. Last but not least, Ms. Abdul Ghani. Tapos na siya. Oh, she's first. Oh, okay. Yes, I think. Learn how to. Okay. Let's go. 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 let to be aligned with the course study or program. It serves as a guide as to what, why, or how they will approach the certain course study. So that's it. Thank you so much, Ms. Kanakan.